There are some prophecies that came true after Prophet Muhammad وسلم, and there are some prophecies that will come true at the end of times, meaning they haven't yet manifested. Those are kind of, this is kind of the way to break it down. It's easier as an approach. Uh, as for the ones in the first category, you have the example of the Roman prophecy about the Roman Empire. It's very common. I go into a lot of detail about this. I have a lot of lectures and presentations and uh, just irrefutable proof from the historians of different backgrounds about the Persian Empire, the Roman Empire, and what was revealed in the Quran during the Meccan era that could not have been guessed, could not be lucky. It's very specific and it happened exactly as Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala foretold. The Battle of Badr is another example historically that took place and it was foretold that they would be fighting people who would be fleeing from the battlefield. Uh, in Surah Al -Qamar. Uh, those are two examples from the time of Prophet Muhammad A third example is the preservation of the Quran that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala uh, foretold and promised that the Quran would be preserved and it was preserved. And this is something that finally, only in the last few uh, decades perhaps, we have a number of non-Muslim academics from different backgrounds, regardless of their own biases, have finally admitted, yes, uh, we can believe reasonably based on history that the Quran recited today is the same Quran the Muslims recited at the time of Prophet Muhammad and this is a very important point.